Hello, children and adults. We are Harlem Pell Almquist and Nicholas Arson from the Hives, and you're watching Ambi. Keep watching, we might show up. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'm here with a band I have wanted to interview for many years The Hives. Hello. Hello. How are you both doing? Great. Yeah, very, very good. You've been playing many festivals over the summer, so what have been some of your summer highlights so far? Uh, I'm playing the festivals. Yeah. I don't even know which ones have been the highlights so far. I think it's going to be today. Ooh. Possibly. Okay. Or I don't know. We're actually on kind of early. I like it when it's dark. Okay. Yeah. What have been your summer highlights, Nicholas? I don't know. Like, uh, we've played some very good festivals, but it's hard to single them out, you know, because yeah. you just kind of play them and then you take off. You're on to the next one. On and most one. of it is like the time on stage is almost like a blackout. So it's hard to remember what was good and what wasn't because, you know, you're so in the zone that you don't remember what actually happens. Yeah, that's how you stay professional too, kind of. It's, you know, you got to live in the now instead yeah. of in the past or the future. Yes, <laughs> for instance. Well, I actually had one of my writers at your gig at Why Not Festival, and in his review, he was just raving about how you guys were his favorite act of the entire day. He absolutely loved it, and especially how you brought that wild and always crazy energy. So for you guys, how do you keep that energy up, show after show after show? Well, you get, you get more energy if you spend more energy. It's a weird natural law, I find, you know. Vibing off the crowd, you mean? The more you get rid of, the more you get back. Yeah. It's almost like exercising, you know. If you never spend any energy, you're never going to get any anyway. You know, it's like a rubber band. You stretch it by spending energy and then it swings back and there's more there. Actually, it's not nothing like a rubber band. I don't know where that analogy came from. <laughs> I thought it was decent. Yeah. yeah. Let's just leave good it Good start. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> it's just turtle all the way down. But it's kind of it's the way that you muster up energy all through the day, you know. Whatever beverages and food that you can pump into your system and rest you know yeah we don't do a whole lot during the rest of the day yeah that's usually the trick <laughs> so you savor it all up and then once it comes to be showtime it yeah. all it's, it's all released there for the you. rubber band yeah <laughs> bam yeah there you go he just finished it for you thank you <laughs> yeah we're brothers you know so we have that psychic connection <laughs> we finish each other's analogies yeah I remember years back, the first time I saw the band, you guys were wearing suits, you had the really cool top hats on, and now even today you're sporting these absolutely incredible outfits, the matching outfits. We saw you walking around, right away we knew, oh my gosh, that's the Hives. Yeah. Do you remember the first time that you guys had one of those cohesive outfits? Because I just love how you can tell right away, it's, it's you guys, there's unity between it all. Well, that was a long time ago. Pretty much from the get-go, or like from, from like 96, we've been wearing the same stuff. Actually, a similar stuff, and then I guess the same stuff from like 99 or something. So yeah, it's been a long time. But yeah, we love it. I mean, it, it really works for us. And you know, you want it to be that identifying factor that you always know, that like you know immediately. We always thought bands that came to a show and looked similar, you know, when you could pick them out in a crowd. We always, we always thought bands like that looked cool. So we kind of wanted to be a band like that. We wanted to be a band that you could single out in a crowd. Well, I can definitely say you guys look very cool today. Thank, Thank you. you. You're very welcome. So it's an exciting time to be in the hives because there is a new record. Is it in the works? Is it finished? Kind of let us know what's happening on that front. One would hope so, but uh, no such luck just yet. <laughs> uh, we, uh, for the first time in like 20 something years, we're having some kind of a hard time agreeing. Or maybe we're just worse at not agreeing and still keeping at it. But it, it, there's been a little lull. and. We started working on something, we stopped working on something, we started again and I think part of the problem is we have too much good stuff and we don't know how to put it together into one album. Okay. It might be several albums in there, but yeah, we're gonna have to... There are definitely several albums in there, but it's, uh, <clears throat> it's uh, I mean, any one of those, any combination, you know, any 12 song combination out of those, whatever it is we have, you know, 60, 70 songs, you know, makes up for a totally different record okay and if you know if you're releasing your you know whatever it is sixth or record or something it, it's a um, you know you've set the bar high or at least we we believe we've set a pretty high <laughs> bar you know high standard for ourselves and a, a highest record should be if not top that at least you know match up to all the other ones 
Yeah, so, so that's it's very the problem, hard. So you know. it can be you know several different albums. On there. Yeah, 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 and we don't really want to just make something to make something. We, we want, want it to be to, great. Yeah, we want it to be great. Otherwise, and that's always been our philosophy. I'm amazed that we've even made six albums. Yeah. Have we made five, six, six? <laughs> I think this would be our sixth record. So we, yeah, we made five, which is no small feat. No. It's more than we ever thought we'd make, you know. Yeah. We we thought we'd be a band for maybe three records and then quit. Okay. But we yeah. also thought we didn't was weren't going to make any money, so we'd have to get real jobs eventually. But here we are, no real jobs in sight. <laughs> It's we don't want to make it out as uh, the hives are. We don't want to make it out as if the hives are ever wrong. But you know, yeah. in two instances we were wrong, <laughs> wrong in that. We, well, we were wrong about the world. We thought the world didn't have as good taste as it apparently did. Oh, is that is we that what we knew that we down? were good, but we thought that you couldn't be good and popular. But either we got worse, <laughs> <laughs> or the world's taste improved. <laughs> Because here we are, yeah, the, popular the standards years later. went up. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, I'm trying to do a little quick fire round with the two of you. So I'm just going to ask a question. Whatever comes to mind first, feel free to say it. So we'll take turns. Yep, answering. sure, we yeah. can do that. All right. So what was the first concert that you ever went to? Went to concerts all the time. I mean, since from you know the age of you know nothing, I was going to say. But our uh, our dad he put on jazz shows in in our hometown, and uh, I went to shows from as early on as I can remember, you know. And kids shows and stuff, but first rock and roll show maybe. Oh, I went to a heavy metal show in, in the local park because I was, when I was six, I was very into ACDC, like we had a rock and roll band that played sort of ACDC. Well, we thought it sounded like ACDC. Sounds nothing sound. like ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> well, to us it sounded like ACDC. And, and we read in the paper that there was going to be a heavy metal concert, you know, in the, in the local city park. And so we went there and hung around for a bit, saw sound checking on, and I, I must have been six or something. Oh, nice! Yeah. The first concert I went to on my, you know, on my own engine, so to speak, was I went to a, a metal festival, I guess you'd call it, and the German trash metal band Creator were headlining. This was in 1989, so I would have been a small child, and. Um, Candle Mass was the band I wanted to see. It's a really slow sort of doom metal band. Well, seven played was. too, didn't they? And that was later. That was oh, like okay. in '91 or something. There was a, 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 a metal festival or like a punk and metal festival in our own town, and it started in like '88 or something. I went, or maybe '89. And I went to '89 was the first one, and then we kind of went to it all along. And saw a lot of good bands there. Nice. And where would you love to perform as the Hives that you've yet to? Pyramids. <laughs> oh, is that the pyramids? I guess that's Pink Floyd or some shit like that. But it's, <laughs> oh, that was Pompeii. They played, I think. So oh, we're going we... to do the pyramids. Yeah. Okay. Was it Jean Michel Jarre, the the sy- keyboard player, synthesizer god? Didn't he yeah, play the pyramids? He did, I think. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Pyramids are cool. Cool. And what's a movie that you can watch over and over? Uh, well, since we're into music, I like Spinal Tap and Bad News. Both of those are everlasting classics. Yeah, <laughs> truer than you would want to believe. I yeah. agree. All right. Well, to wrap things up today, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who will be viewing? Viewing this interview or the show? Viewing the interview. Okay. <laughs> Hello, First fans. Of all, we'd like to congratulate you on good taste. On your choice of music. We know you have a choice in music, and we're very happy that you picked us to be fans of. We appreciate the fact that you made a right choice. And yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you appreciate it too. Thank you. Uh, and I just and wa- you're welcome. And I just want to say thank you so much for your time today. We're so happy we could finally do this. It means a lot. Thank you. It means a lot to us too. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time. Take care.